Do you want to experiment to optimize the input levels to a process? Do you ignore the possible interactions between inputs? DOE is a robust and tested experimental process. It is focused upon continuous process manufacturing and other businesses whose processes use mixes of components to create an outcome. Next, I will go into a little more detail with some example problems. If you are mixing cement and using the manufacturer's guidelines, does the manufacturer use the same water with its balance of chemicals or sand or aggregate? It may make sense to experiment a little bit. If you are a pharmaceutical company, you are used to doing a lot of experiments. How about in your manufacturing? Experimenting may lead to lessening of byproducts and increase of yield. DOE started with crops. Optimizing the input into crops is very important. The correct level of inputs will increase the level of production and decrease cost. There's fertilizer, sun, water, and planting frequency. What is the right balance? Hardening steel is a chemical process. The balance of chemicals added may be optimal or maybe not. Asphalt is an interesting case because what to mix is not the hard part, but how to test it. Sometimes it doesn't make sense because the testing is too onerous. When you create a sanitation product, the goal might be to kill bacteria. The product is a mixture of inputs. Experimentation would be relatively straightforward using DOE to optimize the components of your sanitation product. When test parameter levels are set at different values, interactions may be significant or not. Sometimes two parameters tested at two different levels will show positive output. OFAT, or one factor at a time, tests each parameter's levels one time. Whether you have two inputs to your experiment or 30, DOA will have multiple tests at each parameter level. DOA scales very well. OFAT potentially leaves performance gains on the table. Interactions may help the process overcome. DOE was conceived of in the 1920s as a solution to optimizing crop production. It has been around a long time and is well validated. The concept of DOA is the same whether you are testing two parameters or 30. The example discussed in the next slide is limited to just two parameters because this is just an introductory presentation. There are certainly situations where the interactions are negligible. The example I put together is fictitious and designed to show the impact of interactions. As a Lean Six Sigma Master Black Belt, this is not my expertise, but the expertise of a black belt. Let's look at an example. The first example involves pharmaceutical production and uses the OFAT process. The example uses only two parameters or factors, flow rate and temperature. How much they are changed is arbitrary and based on your knowledge of the process capabilities. I used a plus for increased and a minus for decreased in this example. OFAT goes through all the change permutations one at a time, as you can see in this example. If there are no interaction, then use OFAT. If you don't know, then you should use DOE. While looking at this chart, the question you may ask yourself is, whether increasing flow rate along with temperature will increase your yield. Let's look at the same example using DOE. Remember that these numbers are designed to make a point. DOE makes the factor changes in a permutation pattern. Your first test starts with all low values for all the factors and completes with high values for all the factors. Every factor is taken through every permutation in DOE. Also note that every factor setting is repeated in two experiments as opposed to one experiment per every factor in OFAT. You can average the two and get an idea of the factor's impact. Let's discuss the results. The two negative factor experiments showed a significant decrease from normal. The factor permutations with pluses and minuses showed some hope with a low flow rate and a high temperature. However, the best result came from increasing flow rate the increase in temperature, and the interaction between the two. It is difficult to predict interactions. If you know that you don't have any interactions between your inputs, then use OFAT. If your experimental results are difficult to measure or costly, then it might make sense to not do the experimentation. If yield is important and you are ignoring possible interactions between factors, then your process may not be optimal. Though DOE started in agriculture, it applies to any situation where you are mixing. DOE is all about optimizing yield and understanding interaction. If you have multiple inputs into your process and you're worried that their levels are not optimized for the output, then DOE is the right methodology for your experimentation. I'm Jim Fitzgerald, a Lean Six Sigma Master Black Belt, an expert on the Toyota production system and innovation. 
If you're looking to optimize your process, then contact me.